uh, here we go guys, we're going to go into, we're at Churchill Square now and uh, yeah, we're going to go into the Churchill Centre this used to be quite a busy place, Debenhams had it and then it closed so I don't think it's going to be as busy now, but let's check it out the time is 10.35am so yeah, 25 to 11 and you'd think it would be busy but no there's nothing like it Nothing guys, nothing. No, it's not busy at all guys. Anyway, I think I must have been giving off the wrong vibes guys, because he sent me for ladies gloves because they didn't have any men's gloves. Would you, seriously would you, wear ladies gloves, a guy? I got the guy's hat and when I wear ladies' gloves. I don't think so. What's wrong with these people? I need to go to the loo, guys. I need to go to the loo. I'm not taking you in there, guys, so I'm going to switch you off. Ah, uh, still in Churchill Square, guys. Ah, uh, there's lots of little vans, little takeaway things, the coffee and what have you. Um, yeah. Um, as you can see, we've got that one there. It's a candy type stripe one but it's selling ice cream it's selling ice cream guys but well, for some reason or other it's minus six so I don't think he's gonna get much sales today however let's see what we got here here we go steps guys so now we're heading back or we're heading down to the seafront and then we're gonna walk maybe probably about five miles or so I would say and uh, yeah wow look at the flames guys that's what we need we need some heat however we're still on a mission to find my gloves guys we're on a mission wow now that looks yummy didn't it Doesn't that look yummy give them the thumbs up guys give them the thumbs up chip man Belgian chips wow Oh, wow. Even now, look in, in Brighton, you've got Korean Big Burger. I hope they're South Korean and not North Korean for obvious reasons, guys. But uh, the Island Pork Fish and Chip Takeaway, guys. Wow. A bit of sun here, guys. A bit of sun. And here's the ocean, guys. The ocean. Right in front of me. Oh. And if you come to Brighton, guys, if you do drop litter, um, you will be fined 150 quid. And there are, like, community-type officers here that enforce that. So, uh, yeah, take it home with you, for sure. Let's go down to the seashore and see what we can see. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? Catch it a bit. Guys, what you see in front of you and you can see it coming down that is the i360 so one of my missions today when i first set out was to go there was to go right to the top for you guys but uh no guys it is having essential maintenance carried out it's owned by british airways but apparently they got a loan from the council and they never paid it back guys so me the taxpayer i'm paying for that but if i want to go up there it's going to cost me about 20 quid and another 10 i'll say uh for a cup of tea and a scone let's see if we can get somebody from british airways let's see if we can get somebody from british airways to talk to us guys what's going on here you know surely i kind of own that Yes, guys, I honestly do, and so do you. And we own that because 
they haven't paid back their loan guys well you have to watch here guys when you've got a bright lip you do because that's a cycle lane and if you go in that lane and they get rather annoyed at you um, and can be quite abusive to be honest so uh, yeah what's down here guys what's all this about oh I think that's a place to be down there guys as opposed to there we don't want to see much are we so it's coming right down you see that look that's come down a fair bit the i360 since I started gabbing away to you again oh and the tide is it's coming in I think it's coming in well if it's going out so I'm like 50 50 in it phone a friend well, there you go yeah gives you an idea uh, well the food market and bar guys you're sitting getting cooked in the summer in that little greenhouse guys wow yeah oh meet them rare rare or well done <laughs> it doesn't look good guys it really doesn't oh these little fish and chip shops and little tiny bee shops here are all close guys obviously because it's the winter isn't it well there you go quite novel I guess the rents are really colossal, though. I would imagine they're colossal. Seafront office, guys, I think that's like, uh, I don't know, going by that quad bike, that would be like the envir yeah, it is. It's kind of like the uh, environmental protection people, and they actually go along on these quads, guys. And if you're having a barbecue, and another warning to you when you come here, if you're having a barbecue on the beach, Yep, you got it. You get fined. More money to them, my lovely government. It's all about taxes and fines here in the UK. So uh, if you're coming from abroad, and a lot of my subscribers are from like America and overseas, and then the chances are you're watching this because you're thinking about coming here. 100% come here. It's an amazing city. But uh, just make sure um, you got lots of money in the pocket and that you're... Uh, yeah, you watch what you're doing, you know. Because, uh, yeah, they've got these community type, they're not policemen, but they've got these community officers that enforce things. And do they enforce things? 100%, no joke. You drop a cigarette, they're going to find you right there, right then. So, phew. There we go, guys. And that's the Grand Hotel, remember that? Thatcher was there lots and lots of years ago having a, a, conf a conference, a Tory conference. And the IRA blew it up. It's since been rebuilt, obviously, and refurbished. And I think for tea and scones there, so a high tea, afternoon tea, for two people, I think it's about 72 quid. Now here we go guys, that's what you guys want to see is action, yeah? And we got it here. I guess that's beach tennis guys. That's beach tennis. Wow, isn't that good? That's novel guys, isn't it? That appeals to me. Yeah. I don't know if I could do that guys. Well, I probably could, I just don't like getting sand in my shoes. Yeah, I guess that's the umpire there. Well, yeah. oh, I thought the umpire was sleeping, he's actually awake. But uh, yeah, amazing, guys, amazing. There you go, there you go, somebody won. They're all giving high fives, guys, so that's good. Yeah, I like that. Wow, what a great day to spend a, a winter's afternoon. Ah, there you go, there's a guy. He's enforcing things down here. That guy there on the quad. 
Yeah, so that's a, one of these environmental protection people, and they're going along looking for people dumping rubbish and uh, wow, at night sleeping on the beach and God knows what else they do, but uh, making money. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to switch you off again, and let's go and see if we can interview British Airways about this. Uh, my next one of my next. Oh, well, it's the 29th, and I'll have a quite a few vlogs before then. But let's go and see what they're saying. And why I should have to pay for going on that thing um, when I'm actually paying for it because they ain't paid the loan, guys. See you in a bit.